to the reading room with Sylvie here. Today we're going to do a pick a card reading and it's it's the potential outcome of the current path you're on for you when you reach old age. So before we get started, if you like to support my channel, press that bell icon. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And also it gives you video updates, which is good. And timestamp down below. So just uh, choose your group, take your time, enjoy uh, your reading and I'll see you there. Hello, group one. So we'll get started. I'm just going to place these here for, a few, for, right, for right now. And um, I have quite a few cards I pulled out. And we're going to discover them together. So we're going to start off with what your everyday life will be when you're older. And this is a potential outcome on the path that you're on. And then we'll discuss about the path and see what's what's up with that and if there's anything that you should know you know so here it looks like you had a hardship you had a hard time and life was not easy and that's what represents you in your old age so now things are good you're in a good place you live for the moment you appreciate and enjoy what comes and what's in front of you. So you learned how to just open up and just embrace life. That's what I get. This one here is about beauty, beauty inside out, beauty. You're, you feel like your life has a lot of beauty in it, or you love beautiful things, or you aged well. You know, there's a few scenarios here. But either way, things have been given to you because you deserve it and because you manifested and because of your hardship, you end up with a beautiful old age uh, feel to you about how you look and how you feel and what's around you. <laughs> look at that. The swans. The swans are beautiful. You have this uh, beautiful soul about you. You have some wisdom. You have some lightness to you, a sense of humor, I would say. You are definitely someone that uh, took that hardship and you transformed it into something beautiful, something elegant. You have grace. You know, your, your spirit is beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a tarot card for each of these and we're going to go discuss them a little bit more. Okay. So let's see. Oh, you know it. <laughs> You've with your old age, no one's going to be able to push you around or tell you what to do because you know what you want, you know what you're living, and you know you you want to open up to all these new experiences. You want to open up to what's around you. You want to live for the moment. And you sit there and you have a lot of memories. You know, and you, you place them. But boys, are you going to enjoy life? Are you ever enjoying life, I should say? You're one of these persons that um, life hardship didn't put you down at all. Mm. You had to discover how beautiful you were. You had to discover the beauty around you. You had to discover um, that everything matters and how important it is and how one creation is as beautiful as another you've become wise you've become wise on on what's around you in your life and what to appreciate and how to share what you have it's like you're a beautiful person and you embrace positivity and positive energy and you you feel fulfilled so you're in a good place and, you, and you're not um, feeling bad at all. You're feeling actually pretty good where you are. Two, uh, two of wands. Yes, you have you have opportunities. You don't. You still take on uh, opportunities. You don't let any um, thing 
pass by and when you're done with something you wait for something else so you're busy you're a busy person that's always looking forward always living you live life to your fullest and you don't let anything slow you down so i don't see um they don't talk about family or friends but i know you're around good people because you're you're open to life and you have a lot of positive energy around you and you're feeling good and I feel like your health is good well you're very strong wise um that's what I'm picking up so let's move on <laughs> so this is a what is um your focus your focus is your emotions your focus is having support supporting feeling good about yourself feeling good about your moments feeling good about your steps you want no more hardship you want just enjoy life. So let's find out what is the worst thing that you're living and what is the best thing that you're living. And then what are you focusing on? Oops. I feel like this is it. So right off we have the worst thing that... that can happen to you which doesn't feel very badly is sometimes you lack emotion sometimes you you forget to live your moments you forget to take in all the good sometimes you forget to embrace uh, what you have yeah so you have moments where you're not feeling all that positive <laughs> well, that's okay and then here this is would be the best thing that you live is learning always putting yourself out there always throwing yourself out there um, opening up wide as you can so either you're not you don't feel it you feel old you feel your age you you're not um, really uh, in the mood to, to enjoy what's around you that's your worst days and your best days is you're full of life and you just can't get enough of it that's what I'm picking up and what you focus on is always opportunities in front of you always what's next you don't stay put <laughs> well there you go very active you have your ups and downs but that's i think that's kind of normal what is set and what should you change and what should you keep doing okay yeah to the moon and back your heart is pure you only want good you listen to your guides or you're being guided and you follow through you tend to brush off what is negative and keep the positive that is something that um, is set that's how you are and that's how you will be always thinking about the good stuff and letting go of the negative not letting the shadow get a hold of you what should you change protecting yourself so much being defensive or overly protecting yourself that is something that needs to change or will change what you should keep doing is keep going keep exploring keep moving <laughs> on the go so again i'm going to pull out a card to go a tarot card to go with each one and we'll explore them more so that and i felt like this one was lacking something so it I feel like this belongs there for some reason. I listen to what the cards, um, the energy, the energy that I get. <clears throat> so here, yeah, there's definitely a time to rest, not be hard on yourself. You're always doing, you're always learning. So this is something that is set in you is how you how you pamper yourself and take breaks when things are too hard and then you go and you learn and you figure out what you need to do. So you handle hardship in some, in ways that is very productive and is good for you. You don't let let things down and that is something that you um that is set for you something that you're going to have you protect your ideas you put you don't put yourself out there like so that is something that needs to be changed is putting more of your ideas out that would help your path 
to go follow through on things. Don't be so shy. Don't don't uh, hesitate. You have good ideas. And those ideas, if they're put out there, they're going to make your life better. So that's something that uh, should change. And what you should keep doing is moving, accomplishing. Like, don't stop um, going for things. And you do so well. Like, that's you make your money. You, you absolutely, by moving around or moving your ideas around or by... Um, taking opportunities one after another, you collect your money, you, you make your fortune, um, you make your old age pension or your old age money, um, really good for you. So you don't have to worry about money later on, but you could even do better if you let yourself, um, go with and, and be more confident. So your higher self message Let's see. <laughs> okay. A spark of divine. I reignite the divine spark within me and recognize that I am part of all creation. So in your old wisdom, you've learned more about life. You, you've got wiser and smarter and you understand how things work even better. And you understand that this is something that you, the, your higher self wants you to understand is that help is there for you. And take it, use it. You know, don't be afraid to ask for help. Change up whenever you feel. Whenever something don't serve you or something's no good for you, let it go and move, change. Don't set in, in your old ways and embrace new stuff, new ways, new thinking. Because that's going to make your life easier. Okay, so that's what I'm receiving. Okay, group two, let's see what's going on. So I have quite a few cards. So I'm just going to place them and then we'll get right to it. So that goes here. And I'll let you know. Oh, this one has extra message. Yeah, that's an extra message. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with what your life will be like when you're older in this, the potential outcome of your life and on this current path. And then we're going to move to the, the, what is your worst thing that you live and the, the most positive thing that you live and what you focus on. And then we're going to move to different um, messages and different things that you should know for yourself as you get there to help you grow. So, so far what I'm seeing is, wow, how successful you are. You're very successful, but in, um, in abundance but I feel like it has a lot of quality. Sometimes you're a little rough on yourself. You're not as kind to yourself as you should be. You don't uh, give yourself, um, you're not loyal to yourself. You don't give yourself enough credit and enough love. But you are a good person, but you, uh, you have a lot in your life. Lots make you happy. Dance with the planet. Mm. There's lots going on here. You're always moving. You're always doing. Yeah, I feel like you have a partner. You're married. You're with somebody. And you enjoy each other to the fullest. And you grow together. And life is beautiful. And you embrace each other all the time. And when you look towards your partner to be encouraged or for security. And your partner is very strong and so you have a loving, uh, a loving family. I'm not sure how extended it is, but we'll find out. I'm going to pull a tarot with each of these oracle cards, and then we'll know more. Your acceptance of life, acceptance of what's going, what the universe offers, and how things work. You're not afraid to put yourself out there. I find out more about that. And the black bear, you're you're definitely a protector. So you have your family and you protect your family. You're there for them all the time. You love them. They love you. You're guided. You're divinely guided. You understand. You follow your intuition. You're confident. You're wise. But boys, oh boys, you protect your family. They're always there for your grandchildren. So you have grandchildren. So I'm going to pull out more cards. I'm going to pull out one tarot for each of these. 
No. Call me no, so I took it back. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah. Oh, there we are. The moon. Okay. So this is more about your your partnership. You have a lot of choices. You're a beautiful person. You you must be a little haughty because um, you aged well. You're fit. You move a lot. You like what you what you already hold. Your life is precious the way it is, and you listen to your messages, your friends. You you're guided. You you feel very safe and loved and comfortable. So you don't look elsewhere. You're not sure sometimes where you're headed or what you're going to do next, and but you're curious and you like to know and you explore. You wonder about, I feel like you, you like to know where you're going next when you pass away. That preoccupies you sometimes. And you like to know that what you lived or, or been living, that it counts for something and that in the heavens or or what you believe in will be there for you in a good way. But at the same time, you're very curious. So you like to learn about it. You, you explore, you figure things out, or you try. So that's something that you get preoccupied with. But when it comes to your family and your friends, you are definitely in control. There you're in control. You, you calm everybody. You take care of everyone. You, everything works perfect harmony. Like you know how to open their world to what they need to do, the possibilities, you nourish it. Um, you're very calm and you're definitely someone that um, people, that your family come to. Even people around you will come to you. You're a source of um, inspiration to others. And they, they love you or they feel your wisdom. Hmm, very wise person. Okay. So that's what I'm getting. So what is the worst and the good things? So watching things go. Watching how stuff are. Always paying attention. Okay. So here we have the worst thing that can happen to you. Let's, pull, let's bring this card with us. The worst thing that can happen to you is you watch your life go by and you don't feel that successful. You, you did not carry through some of your wishes, some of the things that you had planned to do or plan um, to go see. It's almost like it's not so much as doing as you wanted to, to see it or experience it. And so you have some regrets. That's on your worst, your worst thing then. You live sometimes is some regrets. The positive thing is you know how successful you are. You watch your life grow and you watched it be nourished. You watch yourself grow into a very successful life that you enjoy to the fullest. And you're very healthy. What you focus on is always fighting for what you want. You never give up. Stubborn as could be. That's your focus. This is how it's going to be. This is what I want. So you're very focused on being the leader. Very focused on being right. <laughs> very focused on that type of things. Okay. So, um, yeah. So let's find out what is set. And what could you change? And what should you keep doing? Well... What is that is changes. Things will always change up. Your life will constantly change like the wind, like the, the leaves. They're, they're just moving around you. So you'll never stay put, really. What you should do, what you should change is uh, looking back. You have a beautiful life, but you don't see it. And you walk without looking in front of you, always um, what others have what you could have had, but not in front of you. Even though the bluebird is sitting on your shoulders, screaming at you, you have a good life. Look at what you have already, but you don't see it. 
And this is what you should keep doing is memories. Always work on memories and on your memory. <laughs> <laughs> could be your uh, literal memory like do do something to to work on your memories but the other one is is having memories um yeah i feel like there's a uh, pictures should be more organized or little writings or journaling or there should be something for memories for later don't seem like you carried that through for your older age might have forgot a lot so so i'm gonna bring out a tarot card for each one and see what they say. So here, oh yeah, you go, you are running on emotions, running on, on what, how to support yourself, what your intuition, you are definitely someone that's um, really sensitive to your environment and feeling it and the changes it's just something that you need in your life and and you embrace it and you just enjoy it it's like something that makes you feel like you're alive so that is something that is set and will always feel that way what you need to work on is really understanding how your life works like when you're doing something where it brings you what what did you receive out of it where did it take you what good do you have from it like they really want you to focus on what is happening with your actions and what you're manifesting and really pay attention to it live it you know Look at what you have. That's one thing that they really want you to pay attention is how wonderful your life is. And see the beauty that you have in it. And what you could keep doing more of is let go of um, the past and make memories. Ah, yeah. You really um, make write down and what you do or you know really take care of uh, moments and like make yourself um, a memory box or or make yourself um, a, like I said a little journal or make yourself a, an album but at the same time it's all it really feels like you do so much in your life you have so much uh, too much to remember if you don't uh, documented in some way you know however you do that i guess you you're going to forget a lot when you get older when it comes to that so so here oh you have two messages from your higher self movement and meditation and embrace changes ah so sometimes you have a hard time embracing change well that is part of your life it's always going to be there it says move easily and confidence confidently through the changes of life because it's constantly going to happen to you i celebrate and honor my physical body through the dance and movement that's funny because i was feeling like you were in good shape that you were moving a lot but you're not moving as much as much as you should really um, do some physical exercise yoga or movements or dancing itself you know do a lot of uh, uh, physical uh, movement and so of some kind that's what they're asking you that's what your higher self is asking you to be in better shape so when you're older you you can move ease with ease embrace all your steps embrace what's in front of you take take your moments you know enjoy what's going on with you believe in in yourself believe in in uh, where you're going but really enjoy your life and understand that there's you, you have to be kind to yourself understand that life is short and that you have to really enjoy what you're doing but also believe in your future that's the message i'm receiving Hello, group three. So let's get right into it. So here we have a few messages and a few um, different parts of the question. So I'll just place them. 
I'll put that blue rock up there so it's not so much in our way. And we'll get right to it. So it's about uh, our your everyday life when you're older, when you're a senior, and what is, what's uh, going on? How is it? And then we'll move on to different parts of it. So um, we have the lion and the fruit, fruition, the harvest moon, oof, and the ring of time. Okay. And you also are the decision, two of swords. So this is a little bit timid, a little shy. We're not sure um, what's going on or what you should be doing. So when you're older, you're going to be a little weary of people and your surroundings. Um, yeah, you have something about that, some issue. So let's find out. But it, it feels um, like it's not bad, your situation. It's just maybe with old age, you're, you grew weary of your surroundings. So here... Right away, it says you manifested your life. So you planned it out and you took your, your journey along and you managed to manifest what you wanted. So your old age will be your dream. It feels like, um, yeah, it feels like you took on quite a bit and you managed it. It's like you found your life purpose from, I'm seeing from the lions, a higher calling. It's um, definitely you were courage courageous. It says you let go of your past and you're successful, content. And you also you have your, your life, your tribe. So it feels like you have a lot of family around you and you're sort of like top of the, top of the, of the pile. Whether you're the queen or the king, not sure. But um, you're definitely one that everybody looks up to. And you have a huge family. That's what I see. And everybody's there to help you along. You're there. You help everyone else. And your life is very comfortable. It's what you dreamt to have is what you have. So I'm going to pull out some tarot cards with it and see what's going on. Well, you took a decision. Wow. You, and also, uh, you could be with your life partner now. If you're not, you will be with your life partner. You're going to be together for a very long time, and they love to support you and follow you. You're like, you're like the one that has all the plans and the projects, and they're like the support. Okay, let's go do this. Let's go do that. You're not going to get them to uh, motivate you. You're definitely their motivator. So um, in your old age, you still do that. You still go ahead and you plan. It doesn't uh, slow you down at all. And you always have something to look forward to. And it's like you're all over the place. You grab whatever you can um, in every direction. I mean, I'm talking about opportunities, of course. And yeah, so it's awesome. You... Often uh, look back at what you managed to uh, accomplish and you toot your own horn sort of thing. <laughs> you love what you did. You love who, what you managed and you often share it with others. Like, look, I have all this because I worked hard. So you tell stories, you talk about it a lot and you also um, wish them well and wish it set them off on their way. So you sort of plant ideas and ambi ambitions on others and you want them to do good and you you kind of take them along with you you bring your passion and you throw it onto them so when, when you're um, older you're obviously visited by a lot of people and they totally enjoy your stories and they totally enjoy um, what you are sharing with them in the in your journey and your contentment and your success, you manage to, it's like, it's to the brim. I mean, you accomplished all what you thought you could accomplish and more. You never stop and now you're comfortable. Now you have plenty, plenty to share, plenty to go around and you're very happy. So huge family, 
lots of um, respect. But there's something uh, creeping in. And as you age, you do get a little bit uh, weary about what is going on or what do they people want. Or sometimes you don't see things the right way or clear. So that is a little uh, worrisome, I guess. But other than that, everything doing well. And you are doing well. It's just that you need more care. Take more care. So what is the worst uh, thing that could happen to you or you that you manage? And what is the best? Let's, and what do, you, what do you focus on? So first of all, you never want to be alone. That's your fear. That would be the worst thing is to be alone and to be, um, uh, yeah, lonely and no one there to help you and you have nothing to help yourself. But no, instead you race to the, the front line. You're always going and making sure that you get there in time. Because that is your motivation. That's how you've been doing for a long time. So, what's the worst? The worst thing that's happened to you is that you don't let love in as easily as you should. Sometimes you hold back. You put your heart out there and you test it but not all that confident. That was one of the worst things you could have done for yourself. And that's where it comes lonely. You're afraid to be lonely. So, but at the same time, you protect yourself so much. You don't want no one to hurt you. So that kind of like something that for you, you consider that to be the worst because you missed out on a lot of love. You have a lot of love here, but you could have had a lot more. And the best thing <laughs> is you found your partner or your family. So that is the, your, your partner, your life partner. I mean, that love is strong and carries right through the end. Lots of love there. I pick up two old... Two old, uh, two old people like it's still in love, you know, and still have the romance, and and um, you finally learn to let love in, so you really enjoy it when you're uh, older, when you're in your old age, you understood the the whole thing about not holding back on love, and what you focus on is what's next. You reflect a lot what's going on around you what you should be doing and how you should go about doing it and that sort of goes with this um you're a little weary so you take longer to make decisions and you uh, tend to sit down and relax and think about it before you make decisions because you're just a little bit afraid that um, people are taking advantage of you or they're going to get something out of you that they shouldn't so let's move on to the part where um where would that be it's it was oh what is set what you should change and what you should keep doing so let's find out well first of all and then I'll, I'll i'll do the same i'll pick a tarot card with each one of these so uh what is good is your life what you have and what you're acquiring and the people in it you, you're living your life the way you want and also you know, you might not see that. You may not always see it. What you, what you should change is the way you treat yourself, the way you see yourself, the way you respect yourself. Be kinder. Give yourself more credit. And also your friends around you. You're, you're a little bit harsh, a little bit uh, hard on, on people. And well, that would go again with this heart. You, you need to learn to... Relax more with people around you and your loved ones and, and love yourself too. Don't take yourself so seriously sometimes um, when you're at least when you're in your family, around your family and leisure time. And what you should, what you should keep doing is anchoring yourself. Sometimes you dream big, but sometimes you need to uh, stay put and really ground yourself and, and see what's going on around you. Stand firm. 
you know, the, um, if you believe in angels, they're around you. If not, then the, your belief, they're around you, you the universe. But also, yeah, ground yourself. Okay, so I'm going to pull out some tarot cards. I was going to say something else, but I'm just going to wait for the tarot card. <laughs> okay. Too many cards. Oh, well, that one wants to come out, so we will read it. I'll put it right here. Maybe that one goes there. One more. So here, yeah, you're not, you always feel like you can't do or, or it's not as good as, you know, you feel stuck, you're not sure. And that's why you don't see what's uh, in front of you sometimes. That's why you don't see what you have good because you're so busy in the future. You're so busy doing and you're so um, unsure and you doubt yourself. But you go, I mean, you, you keep going, you find the solutions and you realize sometimes the solutions are easier than you thought. So you preoccupy and that's why you don't see exactly why or what is good in your life as much as you should. Um, here, it's your wish to, to always go and grow and be a, like almost perfectionist that comes to mind or doing more, uh, never reaching your end goals. So... That's why you're hiring yourself is because you need to be motivated and you have such high ambition. But on your leisure time, you should take uh, care of yourself and your friends more. But yes, when you're working and when you're going for your goals, of course, you know, you, you definitely want to, to pursue that to your best of your abilities. And um, yeah, there needs to be a balance there, I guess. So that's something that... Um, should change you know find the balance between the two of them and something you should do more of is yes um, think about what you want what is and go for it so sometimes you're a little bit all over the place you, you want you have too many projects going too many things going you're very um, career um, focused and or project focused and sometimes you do too much. So it says anchor yourself, take that one big dream and accomplish it and things will be easier for you. You accomplish a lot and you're going to still accomplish a lot, but your higher, like, um, I guess your higher self is trying to tell you that if you, uh, enjoyed more, the big project and finish it before you start another one, um, things will be easier for you as you, as you get older, as you age. So your message is um, take care of yourself, take care of your friends. It seems to be a big importance. Let life in, let the leisure part of your life in, let some, some uh, pleasure and definitely enjoy being loved and love and also um, be kind to yourself and your friends, your family. You're definitely guided, you're always guided and your, your path is clear you manifest like crazy like when you think up something and you start doing it it just goes and but you're being pushed too at the same time you're being guided so you're you can't go wrong uh, so you do have time to enjoy life a little bit as you do it because it won't change anything also um yeah you, you walk through life but you have to let go of some of the past you have to embrace your future see ahead don't be so hard on your mistakes that's what i'm getting because you need to face you need to face your uh what is bothering you instead of um and walk away from it after you figure it out but don't let that hang around so if you have um s stress or something's bothering you just face it that's what the message i'm getting you'll do a lot better with it okay Oh, no, wait, there's this one here. This one here I put aside, so I guess it was meant for last. Uh, you have choices. You have a, a few choices when it comes to love or how to love. Love seems to be a big importance. Um, there's a new start, a new way of 
of uh, going or new way. Something's going to change and bring in um, the perfect person. You're going to know. Ah, your higher self says that you won't have a hard time choosing the right person. You'll know because there's many that comes and goes in your life at one point. But when the right person comes in, you'll know. You'll have an, a new feeling, a new way of being. It's, it's definitely someone that you're going to definitely uh, go, ah, that is the person. You won't have no doubt. Hmm. Okay, so we have a message uh, just for you message. So uh, we'll get right into that. There's a message from your higher self. And let's find out what's going on. Now, remember, this is uh, added to the group. So one of the groups that you chose, but this is... Uh, specific to you and you're represented by the world everything is uh all your dreams are reachable everything is reachable there's no limits to what you can do that is the message that is what represents you so i'll pull i'll pull a tarot card with each of these cards in a minute this is one thing uh you have to accept who you are, and when you're older, you do. You accept yourself completely. But it, it takes a while before you manage to get to that point. You're a beautiful person, and no one is perfect. And everything that uh, you do and any of your past is past. You should embrace yourself and understand that we all go through life and we all do different uh, mistakes and we do good things and you know different than anyone else and you should embrace that and, and know that when you make a mistake just uh, know that that is something a lesson that you're learning and what did you learn out of it and embrace that and take it on with you to the future and so uh, really it stresses that uh, you, you need to accept who you are because when you get older that's important also it says grab a hold of all your opportunities and make them happen. Like you just be persistent, like resistant. Don't let any negativity set in. Don't let negative thoughts. You just uh, keep going and be proud of who you are and hold on to your dreams and go for them. Because there's no mountain that you can't climb because this is the ram and they climb in every direction sideways like you know pretty much upside down they still can climb no i'm kidding but you know what i mean <laughs> they're, they're pretty resistant and um this says no no problem can withstand there you go you see you have many gifts you have a powerful mind it says with patience you can reach your mountain top yeah never give up and good luck will follow so this is on your way on your way to your old age is those are the advice giving let's find out about your old age with the Terra and add it to these cards here it says um, you you are able to have your wish and when you get older you do have your wish so how you see yourself or how you wish you were if it's um, a style or beauty or or just beautiful inside out or whatever you're imagining for yourself or or wish you were like you will succeed when you are older when you're old you look back and know that you were exactly who you wanted to be and you continue to be that person because you learned how to accept yourself and you learned how to love yourself and you understood that you were a wonderful person so when you're older you also have many friends that uh, look up to you and and want to be around you some closer than others some sort of like keep their distance for some reason uh, you're not that reachable or that uh, um it's almost like a little bit bigger than life for some people. But you definitely know what you want. You will be a strong person and capable of uh, taking care of yourself and enjoying life the way you want. You have some kindness to you. You have a, quite a bit of 
honesty that comes out. Maybe that's why they stand back a little bit because you are a little bit uh, honest and you don't mind saying it when you're older. That is when you're old, I should say. And, um, yeah, and you definitely, um, seem to manage to there's some something i'm picking up it's like you root it so your family is rooted or you root it so whether that's grandchildren or just children i'm not sure could be i don't feel like it's a huge family but it's a close-knit family and here wide open you support yourself a hundred percent believe in yourself so you grew into this person this person who's totally accepts themselves you become resistant so your path you understood what you how you should be and when you're older you're you feel totally content and happy with and opened to all possibilities you have a good life you're living the life that you want you and you keep doing it that's absolutely well that's good it says here, support yourself. It says the water element is full of support. You have um, a spiritual guides around you. And for some reason, the dolphin, I would look that up. I allow my body and mind and spirit to flow intuitively through the change of life. Yeah, you guide yourself. You're being guided. But um, yeah, there's something. They're, they're asking you. I have a message here. I'm really picking it up. And they're asking you to think about the person that's influenced you the most so far. Um, you, yeah. And why did you think of them? Ask yourself, what is it that in particular, the reason for them? Because it seems to be important. So if they're no longer in this world, they're definitely help guiding you. They're one of your, your uh, people that are, stays with you. Maybe you feel them, I'm not sure. Um, there's messages want to uh, reach you through animals. So if you see an, an animal a lot or it keeps showing up or from maybe from this reading, you'll start noticing the same animal around you all the time, whether it's on, on online or whether it's in your real life or in your dreams. Um, take notice and maybe uh, research that and see what, what is the meaning behind the, this animal. And also, yeah, your messages are coming through. They want to, they want you to know and guide you in the right direction. But you are being supported. You're not alone. That's what they want you to know. All right, so that's it.